Hello, my little unicorns. It's fall, officially. Pumpkin spice, warm sweaters, fluffy slippers, tea, books by the window, watching the weather outside change. And if you live anywhere but in Arizona, you get to see the colors change too. So in order to honor that, I have done this beautiful autumn look. I hope you like it. If you want to see how I did it, keep watching. jump right in um, I'm probably not gonna put links to every product that I use today but I will list every product I use in the description what I will put a link to though is this fabulous palette now I have only swatched this I have not tried it this is gonna be a first impression but my girlfriend Renee Blaine gave this to me and I'll tell you from the swatches the quality is incredible I have never heard of this brand it's called you can be you can be the palette is a rainbow palette called fruit punch and it looks like this and you can see my little fingerprints where I've swatched it but I haven't actually used it on my eyes but I'm um, doing a ushering in fall look so I'm gonna use a lot of the yellows the oranges the reds um, because I do need some browns and golds in there as well I'm going to be using my Kat Von D palette my um, what palette is this? Edge of Reality palette, uh, eyeshadow palette. So I'm going to be using this one here, and this is what it looks like inside. And I'm going to be using the brown color here, uh, the dark brown, which is called Transformation. And I'll be using this kind of greenish gold here, which is called Code. So it's this one right here, and this brown right here. But all the rest of the colors are going, oh, and I might use, let me do that again, I might use this color Immersion, which is this one right here, as my highlight. Oh, wait, before I take any fluffy brushes, I need to prime my eyes, because as Nikki Tutorial says, not to prime is a crime. Uh, again, can't take credit for that. Nikki Tutorials says that. That is her thing. Um, but she's so right. She's so right. And she's so wonderful. Alright, so I'm using just a really inexpensive Korean makeup, Beauty Creations Eye Primer. It only comes in one skin tone. Um, so it may not be the right one for you, but it works for me. And I like it because it is very sticky and it will hold on to these colors. And I can also use it to cut my brows. Let's carve that out. And if you find that it's too sticky to work with a brush, it's tugging too much, just use the heat of your finger, just roll your finger, don't drag it. Just roll your finger over it and the the heat from your body warmth will kind of melt it in place and it'll just melt down. It'll stay sticky, but it will give you even coverage. Okay. Then I'm going to take a large fluffy brush and my Beauty Creations Banana Powder. I've already put a little out and I'm just going to take that large fluffy brush and I'm going to set this so it doesn't crease and I'm only putting the lightest layer with very low brush and just tap 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 I don't want to make it too much powder um, one thing I will say as far as swatching this you can be palette I don't know if it's eyeshadow or pressed pigment but if it is eyeshadow, it behaves like pressed pigment. And on the downside, that means it will stain your lids. But on the upside, it's very, very pigmented. You get bold, rich colors. 
and they're surprisingly, at least on my wrist, they were surprisingly blendable. We'll find that out together. Now I'm going to take another fluffy brush and go into that mustard yellow, kind of goldenrod color. Again, really, really tap this out. And I'm just going to start as my transition shades. I'm going to start in the outer corner, work my way high up because I want to create a faux crease. So high up and into the inner corner. And then I'm just going to blend it out. And I'm taking the inner corner right to my brow. Not the outer corner, but the inner corner for sure. And I'm still going pretty close to my brow. I only need a sliver of, of nude hiding through there. So I really want to blend this out. But you see what I'm saying? It's very pigmented, but it blends really nicely. I gotta say. Ooh, and it's buildable. So I'm all over this. It's like just butter. It's beautiful. This stuff is awesome. Thank you, Renee. Thank you so much. So I have a question for you guys, and I want you to leave it in the comments. How many of you watching this video right now are part of the, uh, the Facebook group Have Faith in Your Face? If you are, please leave here, or you know, in the comments here, or um, in the link to this video in the group page. What do you want to see? What appeals to you? Alright, so I'm taking the same fluffy brush. I'm just removing any excess product. And I'm going to go into this color right here. Now, I know it looks very red, but this is actually the red which we will be using. This is an orange tone, so I'm going to use that. And I'm going to take it just slightly below the goldenrod color. And I'm kind of patting it in. I think I used too large a brush. So I'm probably going to blend it with a different one. Actually, I'll just remove excess product once I get the color where I want it. And I'm just removing excess product. And we're just going to soften that up. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with a firm pointed brush and I'm going to go in with the red. Um, I'm going to do this eye first and then I'll do the other eye. Okay, Switching to a firmer, thinner brush, I'm going to take the red and I'm going to put that in my outer V and inner corner and slightly below in the cut crease. And remember, I'm trying to raise my crease a little. Now I'm going in with the fluffy brush again. No product on it. And I'm just going to blend that out. I removed any excess product. I'm just going to soften that up. So I decided I'll leave in all the blending on one eye and I'll just cut out the other. And that will save some time in these videos so they don't go for friggin' ever. You see now we have a seamless transition. You can barely see you see where the yellow begins or the yellow starts into the orange into the red. Don't worry if you block out too much of this. You can clean it up. Okay. Now I'm going to dip into that Kat Von D palette because I need that brown. And I'm going to use a smaller brush. I can find it.
even smaller, a little tiny pencil brush, and I'm going into that brown, and I'm going to take that right in the outer V through the crease, but really fine, just to deepen this crease up. Just right over the red. I get that inner corner. Okay, and I'm going to take it under the eye too because then I'm going to go in with the other colors and smudge that out. And I'm going to kind of bring it up into that outer V so they connect. Then I'm going in with the fluffy brush, no product on it, and I'm just going to blend it out. Not the underside. I'm going to use the other colors to do that. Just the upper part. Alright, so next I'm going back in with my Beauty or um, Actually, sorry, it's not Beauty Creations. It's Mica Beauty Cosmetics, my primer. And I'm going to use it to carve out the center of the halo. I want this color because it's very bold, very shimmery, brilliant gold. And I want it to really stand out. But right in the center. And once again, I'm going to use the heat from my finger to just blend it down. Just press on it, hold it for a minute, tap it around, no wiping, just tapping. And then while that's still tacky, I'm going to go in with the gold, which is called Code. And I'm going to use my finger, because I found this gets the best color payoff when you use your finger. And what I like about this gold is it has a little reflect of green and those of you who are from the east you know the fall colors is always a little green in the beginning of fall and that's where we are, we're in the beginning of fall. So now I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush, uh, a medium fluffy brush, and I'm going to go in with a little of the red from the first palette, that Can You Be's uh, Fruit Punch, and I'm going to start blending out the brown underneath. So I want a smaller fluffy brush, it's still fluffy but kind of tighter, and I just barely want to get a little on one side of the brush, holding it low, and I'm just going to hold it really close to my lash line. That's a little too much product, so I'm taking off the excess and just back and forth. Okay. Remove the excess using the same brush. I'm going to dip into the orange one side, really tap it off, and taking it slightly lower. I'm going to blend that below and up into the upper color. And then with the same brush, removing all of the excess product, we're going into that mustard kind of goldenrod yellow again, and even lower. And I'm extending it out just a little. Okay. So all one brush. Okay, now it's time for my handy dandy sticky tape. Because you know me, I can't make a winged eyeliner to save my life. But what I'm going to do is use a gel eyeliner today where I usually use powder. But I want that really bold liner. Plus, I'm going to line my waterline. And I kind of want them to blend seamlessly together. So I'm using my Beauty Creations um, After Dark Black Gel Liner. And this liner is very 
Like, it's not dried out or anything, so it's, it goes on, it glides on very nicely. And then take the side of the brush and just line the inner corner. Make sure I get all the excess stuff off. Now, I know this looks a mess. Ta-da! It's a miracle. It's beautiful. It's magic. All right, with my Navi Black Eyeliner, Navi, I'm gonna do my waterline. Now, some people do this after the mascara. I like to do it before. It allows me to clearly see the areas I need to fill in. And I want to lean this down so that it goes right to my lash line. See the difference? Do the other eye. Be back. I'm also going to do my mascara off camera. You've seen me do it. Um, just so you know what I'll be using. I'll be using my Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift Waterproof Mascara. But I'll do that off camera. And we're back. All right, so I forgot to mention all the things I did off camera. So I did my foundation, I did my contour, my blush, my highlighter, I did my eyebrows, everything else I've done on camera except I just got back from doing my mascara and my lashes. I am wearing um, a, brand, a style called Cosmo by the brand Lashy Box. I want to thank my girlfriend Jennifer Garrison for these. I love them. Look at them. They are super glam. Super glam. Really like them. They go great with this look. So, um, I forgot to highlight my brow bones, so I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to do my lip. So, for the highlight, I am taking the color Immersion. Immersion. On a very fine brush. very fine flat brush and I'm just going to take that in my inner corner and along my brow bone. So we're really thin. I just want to take it literally right along here. It's barely in there. And just kind of blend it out. Just to get a little bit of that highlight. Same on the other side and then in the inner corner. And then right here. Now I'm going to take a lip brush and I'm going in with my Candied Lip Dye Retro Red Lip Gloss. It's a nice kind of brick red. It's really pretty for the fall. And if I had a lip liner that is the right color, I would use it, but I don't, so I can't. Now I will say this this color stains your lips pretty well. It does take a few layers to get the color payoff that you want. I go on light first just to get it laid down and, and kind of carve out my cupid's bow. Because they're not even.
All right. And there we have it. Beautiful fall glam, a little gold, lots of lash, and lots of rusty fall autumn colors. So let's usher in the season of pumpkin spice, warm sweaters, fluffy slipper, slippers, and cups of tea. I'm ready. Um, I hope you are too. I'm ready for the weather to start getting cooler. I'm, I'm ready for it all. So until next time, guys, I hope you like the look. Please put it in the comments if you do. Tell me what you want to see and stay magical. Bye.